What's up guys, Time here, and welcome to my review of episodes 5 and 6 of Mark Elmo's Pop Culture Quest. As always, let's get into it. Okay, so, episode 5, Mark Elmo goes to a collector, a prop collector named Bob Burns, who has, like, numerous props over there at his house. Like, probably hundreds of props over there. He had, like, a few props from Terminator 2. He had a lot of props from Alien, and he even had the original animatronic for King Kong, the original one that came out in 1933, and he had a roll of costume from Rick Baker, who was a prop designer in the late 40s, I think, and he he had original suit from the 1940s Shazam serial. Shazam, the Captain America one. He had that one too, so that was pretty cool. And it was just pretty cool to see all those props from movies in one place. I mean, it was just pretty cool. It's pretty fascinating to see. I mean, stuff like that you don't see every day, so that was really cool. Make sure you appreciate what what those filmmakers and directors do for all these movies and put them out and make sure you appreciate their work and what they've done over these past few years over this past 50 to 60 years and onward so I just thought that that was pretty cool so I really enjoyed episode 5 seeing all those props was just pretty cool and yeah. it would have been cool if you had some props from uh, some of the original Batman movies, that would have been cool, but, I didn't see any, but, I'm pretty sure he has some somewhere, but, remember Bob Burns, he started collecting when he was about 13, his first piece in his collection was, it was part of a cane, I don't know what he, what he I don't know what he called it, but, it was like the top part of the cane, it was about, about this big, I don't know what it's called, but it was like it was like a jaguar or a tiger on it. It was silver, and he got it from Rick Baker, I think. If it wasn't him, then it was someone else from the movie at the time. It was like in mid forties or late forties, one of those two. So, but overall, I really think episode five was a really cool episode. I really enjoyed that. Some of the stuff I didn't know about in that episode, but some of it I do. There's a good piece of stuff that I knew a little bit about. Just a little bit, but not a lot. But, anyway. Getting to episode 6. He goes to a shoe collector named Jordan Michael Geller, who has created the first museum out of shoes. He was created the first sneaker museum. He calls it the Shoeseum. And he has like just numerous amounts of Nike shoes over there. Basically a Nike reselling empire. So I thought that was pretty cool. And he collected nothing but Nikes. And I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, if you're a fan of Nike and especially Jordans, then you probably... I don't want to go to that, that guy and check out his collection of Jordans because I'm pretty sure he has every single Jordans ever made, if not most of them. So I thought that was pretty cool that he had all those Nikes there and he literally has Nikes of everything like like characters, like superheroes, Spiderman, Batman, Superman, you name it, Simpsons and a bunch of other stuff, even artists like MC Hammer, Vanilla Ice, Mentally Vanilla. And a bunch of other artists and the Beatles too. Remember, he had some snowboard shoes with the Beatles, Yellow Submarine. So I thought that was pretty cool and I enjoyed seeing all those different shoes. I mean, I've never really been a shoe person myself per se, but it was just pretty cool to see someone who actually has taken their time to collect all of those different shoes. And that's from one brand too. Nike, so I just thought that that was pretty cool. And that's, and like I said, 
in these episodes is just make sure you appreciate every, everything in life, like I like the movies, pop culture, every everything, everything pop culture just makes you want to appreciate it, appreciate everything in it. If there's something you enjoy doing, then I think you should you should go for it. So I just thought that. That was pretty cool. I mean, I mean, me and my, me and myself. So if you guys know that I collect comics, I know it'd be cool if I, I would have thousands of comics. Hey, hey, you never, hey, you never know. I have all my life to collect, so I'll just, I'll just keep collecting. So anyway, get back to episode six. I enjoyed episode six. Like I said, I'm not really a shoe person myself. But, like I said, it was really cool to see all those Nikes in one place. It's like a huge warehouse full of Nikes. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.